Okay, you guys, I already had did the Gelex method, but I wanted you all to see that. Um, this now I had put a little too much gel, so I'm just taking my time with my cuticle cutters and gently just, I guess, getting the excess gel off my finger without trying to lift up the gel on my nail bait. I say nail bait. I mean my nail bed. Now I'm using my drill bed to drill in the um the full cover nail and also take the shine off the full cover nail. And also as you see here, get any excess gel that may have squirts from up neat under the nail. So I do not have my drill bed up high because this is my non-dominant hand. Plus it don't need to be up that high for to just take the shine away from the nail and um to blend it in. Although my nails are already pre-shaped, I'm just taking the fowler to get the little tip pieces that's sticking off them, fill them off, and also just bring in the shape just a little bit more. And I am using an 8080 grid nail fowler. I'm going to be doing a butterfly ombre set and we're going to use these beautiful butterflies to match the color of our acrylic. Now this is um, a yarn 2-in-1 dipping paddle acrylic like I love this acrylic. And also, when it's time to do a fill-in or a new set, it's very, very easy to file off. But yeah, here I'm just um, taking my time and doing my tip first. Um, I haven't mastered doing the one bead method, but hey, it's no race. So, as you see, I use a couple of beads to lay down my acrylic and just trying to make sure it's as neat as possible. And I love this blue. This blue is so beautiful.
Now I'm just using nothing but monomer to pick up my butterflies and lay them where I feel like it fits. Um, I'm kind of going into an angle all the way down. And this acrylic, you don't really need to like take no clear and lay your butterfly down. It's just the monomer itself will... Go ahead and, you know, leave the butterflies in place on the acrylic. I want to say it don't, this Aeon acrylic, it don't dry too fast and it don't dry too slow. So, it's very, very beginning friendly. Here on my pointer nail, I did speed my video up for my other four fingers. So I don't bore you guys, but here on the pointer finger, of course, I am using this beautiful neon green. And um, I'm going to use some green butterflies. And for the rest of my fingers, I'm just repeating the process as you've seen on my thumb.
I'm taking this beautiful, soft, neutral color to do my ombre. Again, I'm just taking small beads and laying them down and gently bringing them forward for that ombre effect. Um, I'm not going to show all five of my fingers because it's just the same process. So I decided to show you guys my thumb and my pointer. And as you can see, I take a small bead at a time. And uh, with the tip of my brush, and I use the body of my brush to bring the neutral color forward. Now that we have laid our neutral ombre down, we're going to take the clear and um, just to build our nail and give our nail the structure and um, thickness that I desire. And I got to say, like, I am so proud of myself on this set using my non-dominant hand like I have came a very long way Now that I have laid the clear acrylic down on all thy nails, thou shaped and buff, I'm going in with my clear top coat to give these nails some shine. I was going to bling out the whole set, but I really had like the way they look without the jewels. So, of course, I had to add some jewels to it. So, I just put a few jewels on my ring finger and left it gorgeous like that. And here we're just, of course... And that cuticle oil to our skin. 